Lucas, it's brilliant having you on the on the podcast. Um, I must admit, I'm a little bit in awe because, like, you're like a proper Leeds legend, aren't you? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I did my best. I did my best to win that season, but uh, I played for the Red right Club, I think. Yeah, <laughs> no, but it was amazing, you know, because obviously I, I started my career at Leeds, and then I got released when I was 19. So, oh, yes, you know, and I've always yeah. been a Leeds fan. So, you know, like my love for Leeds is obviously there. And absolutely, you know, when I, when I when I read about what you'd done, and, and the thing that I remember the most, which you know, Mike, it's not the same for you, obviously, but when you went in goal for when Lukey got did Lukey get injured or sent yeah. off? Actually, actually, the the first one at home against Middlesbrough, Lukic, yeah. who, who who got concussed. But the second right. one was was, uh, was away at Man United when uh, Beanie got sent off. That's right, yeah. And then that, then you became like a cult hero because you made like proper saves and everything. And then the thing that I love about it the most is that oh. you were a goalkeeper and then went to play outfield rather than the other way around, you know, like Edison, who was a midfield yeah. player, went into goal. But you were actually a goalkeeper and then you went and played outfield. <laughs> Absolutely. But coming from you, David, I mean, it's quite... <laughs> exactly but you know because obviously I've, I've, I've always been a Leeds fan so I remember this sort of stuff you know and it was because I remember you seen I remember seeing you used to make saves and I didn't know at the time that you used to be a goalkeeper and I was like looking at you and I'm thinking like he's he's like done this a lot and you know then obviously I found out about it you know so <laughs> it was just brilliant no, it was brilliant. for me it was good fun it was it was no pressure at all you know yeah because we're always messing around. You know how we do when we come to training. We start training yeah, and go, yeah. and go and mess around in goals. But, but uh, it was brilliant. For me, that was the highlight of my career, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure it wasn't. <laughs> Actually. I couldn't get to your standard, but you know. Okay. <laughs> so what I wanted to ask you, Lucas, as well, is in, I think it was 90 or 91, Arsenal and Man United came over to South Africa and we played yes. Kaiser Chiefs. Were you playing for Kaiser Chiefs then? I was playing for Kaiser Chiefs then, yes. Uh, and we I met, know, right here. We yeah, and we met yeah. Nelson Mandela before the game. Before, oh, it was amazing, yeah. Because uh, yeah. I think it was the Mandela, the, the, it was in the Mandela game, actually. Uh, so so, we, so we, we always invited uh, big clubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was like... That so was like what, came, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. was brilliant. It was good experience. Amazing times, yeah. And I remember, I remember shaking Nelson Mandela's hand because we we actually had a team photograph with him as well. You know, so yeah. he was in the middle of our team photograph. But I remember shaking hands with him, and for some reason, it, it just, I was like, "Oh my god, his hands are really soft." <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't know why. Seven hammering. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'd think they'd be like really hard or worn out. Or, <laughs> You know, but it was, that's just like my memory of it was like, you know, but just an absolute pleasure. But he called you, your, that you were his hero. Mm, How special yeah. is that? I'm telling you, it's, if you get somebody like that, I mean, it's not only a South African statement, but it's the world. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. He was respected all over, but... <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know, I, I, I can't really explain, but it's something that uh, I, oh, to be honest, I didn't know what to, I didn't know what to say. But that says a lot about the work that I've done, you know, uh, to represent the country, to be honest. Yeah. You know, and your, your, your work, is, you know, you've done lots of work, you know, and, and especially like from, from where you came from. You know, to get to where you got to as a professional player, but not just a professional player, but it's playing in the Premier League. Yeah. It must make you feel proud. Very. Uh, I think we played at a time when uh, South Africa was in reconstruction. You remember just after apartheid, yeah. we just got readmitted into international football. So, And we, we didn't have, apart from... The early, I think the early 70s or 70s when uh, Johan, uh, Albert Johansson played for, for the Leeds, who was the first yeah. black player South African to come over. But uh, our generation was absolutely amazing because people like Madiba, we call him Mandela, we call him Madiba. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, they were our inspiration. 
yeah. then. You know, it was it was amazing to represent the country after apartheid of what the country has gone through, and and having our brothers and sisters who've played football before, but they haven't had a chance to do that. So it was a great opportunity. Yeah. No, it's amazing. What what was your what was your favourite time at Leeds? Ah, the Champions League time, yeah. absolutely brilliant. But yeah. but the thing is that yeah, and you know, the game got to the semi-finals. That's like oh, I know. It was it was crazy because when I arrived at the club, you know, we were just lingering there, at the bottom of the league, and, <laughs> and 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 for me, that's the thing because. Uh, uh, when I was at the club, it wasn't just only about football, but it was learning about the game and improving as a footballer, as a player, and as a person as well, you know? Yeah. And when we got to that Champions League, I didn't, I've never experienced such um, atmosphere at Ellen Road. It was absolutely amazing. Eh? No. Especially that game when we, when I scored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was looking at your I stats, know, right? I don't, I don't, I don't, game, I, I don't score many, you know. I know, I, I know. I <laughs> remember that. <laughs> I was looking at your stats and I was thinking, I was looking, I was like, please don't let him score, have scored past me. Please don't. And I looked and I was like, oh, he's not scored many. <laughs> I rate you might have scored more own goals than you did goals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but with the Premier League, with the uh, um, the players that we were up against week in week out, it was incredible. Oh my yeah. God! Yeah. You know, uh, it, there was no easy games. You know, and you always have to prepare every 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 weekend. You prepare for so and so. Okay, uh, this this weekend I'm with. I'm uh, marking right here. Next weekend, you share. So there's different preparation. That for me is an individual first. <laughs> but, but that's right. And, and like you said, you know, and, and you just mentioned there, you mentioned Wrighty and Shearer, and they are two completely different strikers. Absolutely. You know, so, so you have to do that every game, don't you? You have to like realise um, who you're playing against and what sort of styles they've got. They got. I mean, they, and at, at that time, there was uh, Duncan Ferguson. <laughs> oh, which is another totally different style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll know when oh, you played man, against Duncan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I needed to put Vaseline everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> no, was 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 he like the most physical? Was Duncan the most physical the, one? He was. He was the most physical. You know uh, yeah. that I've come across, and but the, the quality was unbelievable. You know, uh, Mike yeah. Lowen. Gee. Sure, it, it was great, but but I was we were always looking forward to every weekend, you know, playing big games and yeah. preparing, and you know, uh, it, it was the atmosphere of the game. It was amazing. It was yeah. absolutely amazing. And, and actually, I think the most important thing was to represent South Africa because I wasn't there just to represent myself. But mm. you know, most of the games were shown live. Uh, in South Africa, and it was a big thing. It was absolutely big, massive, because it was just me and Phil. Not a, f a lot of players, you know, playing the Premier in the Premier League then, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, it was a, it was a big. It's a, it's a big statement. It's a bigger statement than what what people realise, you know. Like it's there because it it goes back live to your own country, and it's huge. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's a, 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 to have. A, a South African boys coming from uh, Soweto representing yeah. them in that in that stage. It's headlines everywhere. It's it's inspiration, you know, uh, um, uh, for the young kids. And uh, you know, it, 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 it most of the players because we were not ours in the best, to be honest. You know, uh, because they were better. But you were part me. of it. <laughs> but I was I, I was glad that I'm amongst. You know, uh, one of those, the best players there, and that have really made an impact. Yeah. You know, not just played, but made an impact. You know, and, and but enjoyed it. And, and I mean, I enjoyed each and every moment of the game. Yeah. But you just don't forget how much of a legend you came at Leeds became at Leeds. You know, even to the point where you you like you walk out, is it Josh Warrington in, at Allen Road, 
when he was fighting. Oh, yes. You know, yeah, stuff no. like that, you know, like but that must make you feel so proud. Very, very proud. And uh, sometimes I ask myself, what did I do good to deserve <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just playing football, isn't it? It's just, uh, yeah. just doing what I, I know best and what I grew up yeah. uh, doing. And see, it's just absolutely amazing. But, but to have that kind of uh, 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 people or, or fans, you know, uh, value it that much, you know, yeah. even not only out of football as well. You know, I must think, you know, uh, I've done something right here, and and for me it was the love. It was the love of the game, yeah. the, the passion but, yeah. of what I love most. But like, but and from Leeds fans as well, because like Leeds fans can be difficult at times. <laughs> you know, I, I've I've yeah, seen them, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah, you're but, like you're up there. You're like cult status with the Leeds fans. The the thing is that I couldn't understand why in such a cold weather. You know, they, they're not winning any. <laughs> they're not winning. <laughs> and then the loudest in the field. It was, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was brilliant, but, you know, I couldn't, I, I couldn't afford not to be part of that yet and to, yeah. enjoy, to enjoy the atmosphere that they bring. I know for the, for the opposition fans it's a nightmare, but, <laughs> but <laughs> for us being on our side, yeah. it was absolutely... Yeah, because they brought something different, uh, atmosphere, di- uh, dis- uh, different atmosphere at Ellen Road, you know, and, yeah. and, and that, to be honest, you know, once you run into the field, you get goosebumps when you hear them singing your name. And, you know, it's something that, you know, I, got, I, I get to get used to and enjoy because it was different than mm-hmm. back here in South Africa. Yeah, and you can go both ways. You can go either way with that. You know, sometimes you can go out there and you have all that adoration and it can make you so nervous you can't play or you do yeah. what you say. You know, you go out there and enjoy and play and then and then go with the flow, you know, go with the fans okay. because you know it can be good. I think what, the best thing is that the fans, when, they, when, you, when you give your utmost best, they can, they can realise that and they can see that, you know, yeah. when you're so committed to the club, which is brilliant for me. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. And what are, what are your thoughts on the, uh, the current lead situation? It was, it was not a very good uh, result against Coventry, but there's been quite a few. You know, we've got a great chance of coming back into the Premier League, haven't we? I like it when you say we have a chance. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Leeds. We That's what the yeah. I know, but you the know, Leeds but... fans, even every time I used to play against Leeds, all the, and, and especially at the Gelded End, the, you know, the Cop End, they always used to sing at me, you're Leeds and you know you are. And I used to turn around and put my thumb up like that. I go, yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why they were actually holding close to their hearts all the time, you know? Exactly. But, but that's what happens, you know, with the club. They take you as one of theirs, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, when you give your best. But, yeah. but I, the, the thing is that, uh, uh, Dave, um, you know, they've gone down to, to championship, gone down even one more, and there's, the, the, the fans were still there. Yeah. You know, it was the best supported team, you know, even at the, in, in, the, in the championship or championship one, which is absolutely amazing. And, 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 and for us, yeah, to have, because, I, because I remember I went down with them to, to the championship, but they didn't play much. Right. But still, you know, they were, they were, they were sub, very supportive. Outside the football, outside the stadium, they were so supportive. Well, the city, that city is absolutely amazing. And, and that's the best times I have, you know, in my life and in my career, you know, at that club. And if I ask to do it again, I'll do it exactly the same. Yeah, no, it, it is. It, it's you know, and I was I was there as a sixteen year old, you know, and and I yeah. lived I lived out in Morley, in Diggs, and then you know, like as as a, as I had one year as a pro, and you know, I know I know how much it meant to the fans, you know, and it's yeah. a one club city, and it is huge, and the fan base is huge, but it, it is so passionate that sometimes it can be like sometimes it can be like like too much. If you know what I mean, you know, because yeah. especially yeah. like when you're you're facing a relegation, then that that's tough. But their fans it are is. always there. It's just, you know, that's why I'm like I'm so desperate for them to get back into the Premier League because 
I just feel that now that they're they're more equipped, you know, and with with Daniel Farquhar as manager, they he's got something going at the moment. But it was just it was such a shock result at the weekend, you know, which is oh. which was strange. Yeah, I think I think they've been doing well because I've been following them so close, you know, since. I, it's a pity that I haven't been there uh, for for a lot of games. Because I've been there when they were in the when the Premier League. I, I watched them once. Very impressive under Bielsa, uh, yeah. you know. And they were a great yeah. team. I think they didn't have uh, much depth then, you know. And uh, and then once they went back down again. But I was always confident that they will get back. I will we will get back up again yeah. because. You know, it's a big club. You know, it's not just about the fans, but it's the history behind the club as well, which is, which is amazing. You know, uh, and 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 to be honest, I can't wait as well for them to come back. But the most important thing is they should come back and stay. You know, what I mean? <laughs> yeah. to, to, to bring more quality to stay in the Premier League, uh, which for me it's most important. I mean, they've been playing good football under uh, under Fark. I mean, it's. Ah, he's been absolutely great. I don't know what the right things he did to bring those boys together and fight, you know, for 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 the club, yeah. which is is amazing. Even if he, I mean, some of the guys have left the club, but those who were there, you know, were they incredibly uh, uh, passionate about the club, you know, uh, uh, and and it's amazing, you know, how they perform like that week in week out, which is yeah. great. We we have a, a lot of arguments on here because Adam's a Southampton fan, you know. So like, we 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 have a lot of banter going on between the two clubs. <laughs> yeah, we, unfortunately, we've we've uh, dipped off a little bit at the moment, and it looks like it's going to be playoffs. Yeah. But, I mean, between those certainly those four teams this season uh, in the Championship, it's it's been in incredible. And it, yeah. I, they say it's uh, the most competitive Championship uh, season there has ever been, which yeah, um, is absolutely. just. It's, it's it's amazing, but it's almost frustrating that you know when you find your team caught up in it. Think, well, why couldn't it be an easier season? <laughs> <laughs> There's no easier. Actually, the, the championship is even harder than the, the Premier League itself. You know, in some ways, so, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. So, 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 for me, I think it's. Um, I think the, the status. If you can retain that. Uh, uh, I think, and we've got a good backing, you know, with the, mm. the guys from America. Yeah. And then we can get we can get more players and and, and bring back those glory days because that's what that club needs, you know. Oh, tell you me know, about it. I've, <laughs> I remember that's why I supported them. I supported them yeah. in the, those glory days, you know, and it was fantastic. But you know, I'm I'm so desperate for them to get back. But so hopefully, yeah, yeah we we get we get automatic promotion. So. Okay, then here's a question for you. <laughs> would you look, would you rather say say if we were if you come second and you get promotion, would you rather yeah. come second and get promotion, or would you rather win the playoff final? Oh, I don't. Know, I don't came second. I don't would you? Know, <laughs> we've been at the Wembley. We played the thing. Oh, no. We played in the promotion. No, no. <laughs> now, uh, uh, that, that, that's, that's hard, that's hard, that's very difficult, you know. I mean, we did that, I think, uh, twice, is it? Twice or once. Yeah. Uh, when we played in the playoffs and, you know, our hearts were broken, you know. When, uh, yeah, you don't want that stress, do you? <laughs> you don't want stress, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go straight up. And then, then, yeah, okay. yeah. Speaking of the, like, the, the, the good times as well, because you were, you were made uh, captain, as well, at, at one point, is that right? Yeah, I don't know how is that how that happened. But that was under what? my old boss, George Graham, wasn't it? That was how George did that Graham. Make you feel that was George Graham. That's you know what he's he's the best manager I've ever worked under. I know I don't know if you did work under him. Well. Yeah, I did. I had him for six years at Arsenal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah he was so. absolutely. You had a, I mean, you guys had a great team. Yeah, you know, and he came with that reputation at Leeds. Oh, yeah. You know, was a very strict, you know, manager, mm-hmm. and yeah. and uh, obviously with the results, you know, most of them were thinking, ah, Jesus, it's gonna be a, another boring lead, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know, but zeros, but one nil uh, win. Yeah, but, yeah. but, but George, exactly. yeah, George defensively was brilliant, you know, and he, you know, obviously you you know about the Arsenal back four, you know how good yeah. that was, and that wasn't through luck, that was through sheer hard work and and drills that George used to put on. 
and they would work on that almost like probably two or three times a week, back four exactly. against like the attackers, and then sometimes it would yeah. be back four against the attackers in the midfield, That's and they true. they still couldn't get past them. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. did that as well, you know. Yeah. But I think that's how I got very close to him, uh, because. Uh, you know his his passion for defending or for defenders was unbelievable, yeah. and 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 he, he got the back four very very. Uh, uh, we were mastering that defense. You know we we can I can I could have uh, faced four four strikers yeah. against two defenders. We, they wouldn't score. I know. You know, and he just he did he knew George knew what to do he, and, and and not did he not only know what to do he could really teach defenders how yes. to defend yeah. you know in in exactly. the way you know like I'm sure he mentioned the rope you know like the rope oh, from yeah, the, yeah. the yeah exactly you know you yeah, and the <laughs> I love this and the paintbrush <laughs> <laughs> exactly the paintbrush he was brilliant. Yeah, so the, the the paintbrush, Lucas, means that. So, like, when you strike the ball, you you like you strike the ball like you're painting a brush. You know, like not don't snatch yeah, at yeah. it, just brush it in. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what's the rope? No, he was he was class. He was yeah, class. So, yeah. The the yeah, rope yeah. is is like so. It's a rope that that so like both fullbacks are holding the ends of the rope. Really and the yeah. Defenders are in the in the you know in the middle bit. So wherever yeah. it goes, it's a one length rope. So it, that pulls you round. If the, okay. if the right right back goes so in, the left back a... gets pulled round, and it keeps you yeah, all in shape. Yeah, in shape, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is amazing. Now I'm going to yeah, probably but... sound a bit silly saying this, but at any point, did you actually get a rope out and and to, or was it like a, an imaginary <laughs> rope? As it like, well, or was he was... like, no, no, you've got. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I never, I never saw the rope at Arsenal. No, no. <laughs> but no, we knew what he meant. Yeah, okay. he came out. And we, no, no, as well. But, but I think he had a great impact, you know, uh, 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 at the club. Even if he didn't stay that long, uh, he got us into into the Champions League. You know, where he he built yeah. that uh, foundation yeah. uh, for David O'Leary, another. Another one of your another Arsenal legend, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but what a, what an amazing uh, uh, teamwork we had at the club! It was absolutely amazing. We, you know, and there were youngsters as well coming up. You know, and the club wasn't really as great as it's supposed to be. But he built it to the level where we were really we made a, a huge impact. Uh, I remember we. Yeah. Beating you guys three two at a high breeze. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I, th- I don't think I was playing. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Very cute, eh? Yeah, yeah, I was playing. <laughs> yeah, but you had an absolutely fantastic team. I mean, yeah, I mean all because that's that's set the standard, isn't it? Uh, uh, teams mm-hmm. like Arsenal, Chelsea, you know, yeah. Man United. And yeah, exactly. and coming to Ellen Road, you know, it was a bigger, even bigger game for us. And we always wanted to do the best. We wanted to beat, even if we knew that, you know, it's going to be a thin line. If we have to beat you guys, it's going to be hard. But, you know, we on the day, we're going to try yeah. and, and, but, give, and give our best. Yeah. But we, we knew every time, you know, and I know, obviously, being a Leeds fan, I know what, how, how hard it was. You know, but even coming to to Ellen Road as an okay. Arsenal player, we knew it was going to be a tough game. You know, we always yeah, knew, no. always knew. Because what what are you thinking of the Premier League now? Are you um... the Premier League is amazing. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of it have evolved. You know, uh, a lot has changed. You know, from from the ground to the refereeing to the players. I mean, it's quicker, it's fast. You know, the technology has really made it. Uh, a very, uh, 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 especially when it comes to fouls and offsides, yeah. it's frustrating as much as frustrating as it is. Sometimes you know, know. you're thinking about the margin of an offside. It's, yeah, yeah, I know, I know exactly what you mean with the offside. But and then, but the other side of it is, is like when when you said to us earlier, you know, about about the good old days. When you know you would have battles with Duncan Ferguson and things, you know, yeah, you like physical yeah. battles, and you can't, you don't get them as much now, do you? You know, because no, no, VAR no. catches everything. 
Exactly, exactly. And, and I think it was great because at first I was thinking, ah, but VAR, you know, it's a waste of time. It's not going to work. But, but I think it, it has improved the game in a way. You know, yeah. you know, you, yeah. the players now they behave a little bit better. You know, and <laughs> it, it's fast and quick and young because you've got these yeah. youngsters now they're just running around and you know and and it, it, it's fair, you know, to give because because to the light to, to, to the referee to the officials you know it sometimes it could be difficult for them, you know, uh, but with the VAR I think. It, it got the game to, to the highest level, better. The quality, it's better, you know. And, and to be honest, it's, it made things a little bit easier and, and it's very interesting. It, makes, it made things very interesting. And, and that's why now everyone watch, watches the game and, and yeah. there's VAR and all that. So it's, it's absolutely amazing. Who's, who's your tip to win it this season? Be very careful now. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, actually, it's been, it's been like a, a great season. I think, um, I mean, the top three, you know, they're very tight. It's, it's very tight, you yeah. know. And, uh, and then since even the season before, you know, it, it went through to the, to, to the last game and stuff, which is hard. But I think, I think Ateta has a chance. But it's too close. It's too close uh-huh. for a call. To yeah. Because the only the only thing now is that we 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 don't play each other now. You know, it's it's all about the other teams that we play. You know, so there's no like deciding game towards the end of the season. You know, which is a shame. But it's yeah, like you say, especially after the weekend with uh, Man United drawing with Liverpool, that's put yeah. everybody right in the mix now. You know, so you've now got to go and win your games to win the league. You know, and I think it's, win the it's in a great position. Yeah, I, I just realised for you, David, league. you you could have Arsenal winning one league and Leeds potentially winning the other. Oh, that would, oh, I would <laughs> go imagine? missing for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, be, <laughs> yeah. I'll be on the plane to South Africa. We'll meet up with Lucas. We'll have a right party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, then we we'll go and win the Euros. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, no. That, that would be perfect, though. But then, it went, then we're going to have to meet each other in the Premier League. So it's going to yeah. be great, you know what I mean? Exactly. But, uh, yeah. but there's always a great respect, you know. Um, I, I think the Premier League has taken the world, you know, to another, to, and taken football to another level. I mean, the coaching, uh, if you look at the coaches that are there now, it's, you know, they're able to improve players and. And you know, get the team, you know, to uh, to focus, and, and 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 it's 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 amazing, you know, the hard the work that's been done. I mean, I was listening to to Klopp the other day, saying, you know, the work that he has to put in just to get the club to that level, you know, and keep and 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 sustain the the the, the level that they're in. It's hard. It's very hard. Yeah. You can imagine. You can imagine Arteta as a young coach. Oh, Absolutely. Lucas, I, I go, I, I coach at Arsenal once a week with the young goalkeepers. And Probably. I go in and I, and, I, and I see like all the preparation and then all the, all the hard work that, you know, the coaches put into like all these sessions, you know, and I'm, and I'm telling you, it's like about a four hour preparation for a 90 minute wow. training session, <laughs> you know, and it's just crazy. And I'm like, wow, I, I obviously this, it, they didn't, have that much preparation before when I was playing, but now, and I'm thinking, like, do the lads know that all this preparation is going on? Because it's amazing, you know. But have you, have you, have you, have you never dabbled back into into management, or have you not fancied carrying on as a coach? Uh, to be honest, I did uh, when um, when I when I finished, but because of the situation I was in, I had to step back a little bit right. and I lose. I lost a little bit of. I lost uh, interest in, in, in coaching, especially that I had to come back uh, to South Africa right. and then um, deal with the situation that I was in. Then, uh, to be honest, I uh, uh, never really got interested in that, but embark on other things as well in terms of business, in terms of uh, 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 Getting involved with the charity work that I do, yeah. you know, the community work that I do back here. Because coming back here, obviously, people are already uh, uh, welcoming and, and, and wanted me to do and 
and actually improve uh, what we do in South Africa in terms of football, in terms of the community, because we had a, we, we had a lot of challenges, you know, uh, in terms of crime, in terms of the youth, uh, you know, uh, the townships where there was a lot of violence, and and you know, as as role models, you know, uh, we had to come in then and intervene and actually come up with projects where we partner with different brands, you know, to to stabilize, you know, uh, the the career of the young kids and and actually the community, you know, which yeah. was, was was hit hard by by the crime and the violence, which yeah. was really, really concerning. Yeah, well, so, sometimes you don't have enough time to do what you what you want to do, do you? You know, it's like, I, I still don't get enough time to go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love yeah, my fishing. That's, really honest. Really <laughs> <laughs> well, that's proper retirement, isn't it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 I never really got. I, I, I've never really uh, find fun, you know, in fishing because I was always yeah. thinking, why you get just to stand there for such for hours? <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't get anything. I uh, know, and then and then when we catch it, we put it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but yeah, but but I think it's great that you you know we can uh, we can get into or, or give back. You know, yeah, to commit, exactly. Commit yeah, and that's okay. exactly what you're doing with with your projects. You know, you're you're giving back. You're making a difference to a lot of people's lives. You know. And, yeah, yeah. You know, it's and great work, forget, man. Yeah, but people forget that uh, uh, we become parents as well. You know, we get to that role now that you never <laughs> used yeah. to to do before. Yeah. You know, the responsibilities that we have, a family. You know, it's a, uh, it's uh, it, it it gets very hard and difficult to think. Yeah, she, I should have just played football, you know. <laughs> no, you don't realize how easy it was your life when you were a footballer because yeah, everything's indeed. taken care of. <laughs> indeed, indeed. And then you retire, you know, and then it's like, whoa, I've got to start living again. <laughs> I know the responsibilities now are just so much, you know. But uh, but but I think uh, again, you know, the transition, you know, uh, you, you always have to prepare, uh, and that's what. Most of us do because football is not a, a big career because you know it's not long. So you had to before you finish maybe just to prepare yourself for 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 that um, retirement. You know where uh, where I know we don't have retirement annuity and stuff like that, which I would love <laughs> to yeah. be ending something. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, but but hopefully when I get to the to the right age. <laughs> yeah. They will be able to to end that. But uh, but but for me, it keeps me very busy. That uh, I have to make sure that uh, I get involved in, the, in 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 our community with the charity work. But it, it's a different pe- uh, 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 life, and uh, uh, and it give you it gives you a different perspective. Yeah. to what life is all about, you know, because people look at you and thinking, yeah, you're living a good life, you have, you have this and you don't have that, but, you know, when you come back to the level, you know, it's amazing how you inspire, you know, yeah. uh, and, and how much they encourage, you know, when, and to be honest, we, we take that for granted, you know, while we play, because we don't realize, you know, the uh, how much we in our communities we can make a difference or an impact yeah. well it's, it's amazing work mate you, you keep up with that work and it, it's hard work as well it is yeah but it very is, rewarding yeah yeah but it's nice to see the legends you know just <laughs> keeping fit and doing well like you guys exactly. you know <laughs> and you can be the legends in the, the game and people are still looking up to up to you, up to you guys, and keeping the, the game alive, you know, with yeah. the with the youth. It's 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 great, you know, to impart that knowledge. You know, it's mm-hmm. it absolutely uh, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, it's a huge impact sometimes, doesn't it? Yeah, no, no, no. It yeah. is. It's Lucas, it's, it's been it's fantastic to have you on. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. It's no, brilliant. You You're much. an absolute no. Leeds legend, and I'm very jealous of you. How can you be jealous of me? I'm like, is that you? I mean, how many, you must have played. 
you must have played for Arsenal longer than I did. Uh, yeah, Leeds, but, yeah, yeah, but I, I was always a Leeds fan, you know, so I'm still yeah. a Leeds fan, you know, so, you, you know, the, what, you uh, no, what you did for Leeds was amazing, <laughs> mate, so thank you. No, <laughs> no, thanks, thanks to Adam and Callum, I mean, uh, yeah. it's absolutely, Southampton, don't know, the, the days of uh, Platizia, they're gone, so. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> if only they just could produce those every uh, every yeah. generation. They're not, they're not in, they're not in yeah. Adam's eyes. He's still got Platissier's shirt behind him. Oh, yeah, <laughs> there, there. over there. I can see the shirt. <laughs> but great team, great team. Yeah. I think those were the days. And and thanks for having me. I think it's great to still, you know, be able to keep in touch and yeah, and, uh, and able to, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think. Uh, uh, if you if you need me again, you know, let me know. Okay, very, brilliant. We very certainly myself, will. Yeah? Great right. stuff. Give me a okay, to the boys. I know right, right I will. one of the guys. That, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he must he must to give you a he must to give you a right hander at some stage oh, or a little oh, or a little yeah. elbow. And that, and that, <laughs> yeah, and that. that. <laughs> <laughs> He's still <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Brilliant, though. Brilliant. Brilliant. Fantastic, guys. Yeah, Brilliant. all right. Thanks. Okay, thanks so much, Thank mate. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys. Take care. Thank you. See you.